Distracted teacher and all my dear friends. I am Anika Prakash of class 5C and today I am going to narrate a story The Spider and the Fly and by Mary Harvey. In the story there is a cunning spider and a silly fly. The cunning spider phrased the fly and the fly got trapped in, in the spider's web. So let's begin the story. Will you walk into my parlor? said the spider to the fly. Just the prettiest little parlor that ever you despise. The way into my parlor is up a winding stairs and I have many pretty things you show when you are there. Oh no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stairs can never come down again. I am sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bit? Said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around and sheets are fine and thin. And if you like to rest a while, I will snugly tuck you in. Oh no, no, said the little fly. For I have often heard it said, they never, never wake again. Who sleeps upon your little bed? Said the cunning spider to the little fly. Dear friend, what shall I do to prove the warm affection I have always felt for you? Uh, within my pantry good store, all that's nice. I am sure you are very welcome. You are pleased to take a slice? Oh no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I have weird bots in your pantry and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider. You are witty and you are wise. How brilliant are your gauzy wings. How, how brilliant are your eyes. I have a looking glass upon my parlor shelf. And if you will step in one moment here, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you are pleased to say. And bidding you good morning now, I will call another day. The spider turned him round about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon be back again. So he wove a shovel web into a corner sly and set his stable ready to shine upon the little fly. The, the spider came back to his door again and merrily did sing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with pearl and silver wings. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like a diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly Wearing his really flattering birds, slowly came flitting by. With buzzing wings, she hung aloft, nearer and nearer drew, thinking on your brilliant eyes, green and purple hue, thinking only of a crested head, the poor foolish thing. At last, up jumped the cunning spider, frisly held her fast, frisly held her fast. And he dragged her up into his winding stairs, into his dismal den. And within his parlor, she never came down again. And now, dear the children who made the story read to the willy, to, to idle willy flattering words, I pray you never give heed unto an evil counselor. Close heart and, uh, and ear and eye and take a lesson from this tale of spider and the fly. Thank you and have a nice day.